Good morning. Happy Halloween. It is Halloween. It is Halloween. 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 I'm going to get some Halloween music going. It's true. So I couldn't do, um, I couldn't do, um, makeup last night because, um, the model that I was going to use decided, well, she didn't decide anything. I decided to put her to bed early. I just thought she was exhausted and so I didn't do the clown yesterday, but that's okay. So I know it's like super, super early, um, but I need to get my makeup done because I have two Halloween parties that I'm helping with today at the school, at the elementary school. So I thought I would just get her done. And so I'm going to do Princess Leia makeup today. So I should probably look up what Princess Leia looks like. Um, I know she does lots of like neutral colors. Um, so I mean, it's not super exciting, but I mean, it's still fun, right? Am I right? Okay, so yeah, she does a lot of neutral colors. Okay, yeah, so basically she's got neutral eyes. This is what we're going for here. She's got some neutral eyes and some red lip. So, that's easy enough. Um, so we'll just go ahead and do that. And I'm not going to show you guys my hair yet, because I don't want to ruin the surprise of the full look when I'm done. So I'm going to do my hair later and take a picture later for you guys to see. So for now you guys just get to see the makeup. So I'm going to start by priming my face. And it's good to prime your face just to give yourself a nice good foundation to work with. Good morning if you're jumping on say hi. Let me know you're here. And then I'm going to prime my eyelids with the best eyelid primer in the world. It really is. And you just need a tiny, tiny bit. See that? Itty bitty tiny bit. Like a little tiny bit goes a long way. And I take it all the way up to my eyebrows because I, I do up my eyebrows. So I want want it to stick there too. And you just need like 30 seconds or so to just kind of let it set in to your skin. And while I'm waiting for that, I, okay, so Princess Leia has like flawless skin. Like, hello, look at that skin. So I need to make my skin pretty perfect. So I'm going to use my Mineral Touch Foundation today. And pretty much, after you put the sucker on, you look like you've been photoshopped. And my favorite thing, literally my favorite thing, hi Stacy, good morning, happy Halloween. My favorite thing about this is the smell. I should be more excited about how pretty my skin looks when I'm done, but I'm not. Like, it's all about the smell. Like, it smells amazing. And... The only way I can describe it is it's kind of like fairy farts. Like if a fairy farted, this is what you would smell. So all you do is shake it up. Just like Taylor Swift says, shake it up. Actually, she says shake it off. So, And then I'm just going to put like four to five drops on my foundation brush. I'll do five. Because I got to be sure I am flawless this morning. Because Princess Leia... She has like perfect skin. So then I'm just gonna kind of dab it on until I look like an alien. Because it's fun, mostly. Isn't that kind of fun? It's like, oh no, help. Hi Connie, I love you and I miss you so much. Yes, fairy farts. Like, you're gonna have to try it to understand it. Like, it's the only way I can describe it. Like, it's just this, this soft, feminine smell. Like, just like, just like a fairy fart. 
I've never smelled a fairy fart. I haven't actually met a fairy before. But if I did and she passed a little gas, I'd be like, oh my gosh, that smells just like my makeup. Okay, then I'm just going to get it on in there. Spread it around. And you may be wondering, am I using a filter? No. This is my natural skin. And I just happened to... This stuff, I'm telling you, it's amazing. Okay, then I'm going to use just a little bit of concealer because Mama didn't sleep last night and it's starting to show. I had to use some of my um, Unique Royalty Instant Lifting Serum and what this does is I put it on my wrinkles and my crow's feet and if I have extra bags, I just put it on in the morning and it really helps just kind of smooth it out so like my dark circles aren't as bad today. I could not sleep last night. Like I was so stressed about getting so that this concealer I'm just using just a little bit. Um, you can use a fancy brush to put your concealer on, but I like to use my fancy fingers because that's the way I roll. But I just was so stressed about today, like the kids making sure they got in their costume and I'm in charge, me and my friend are in charge of one of the parties at the school. And so, like, I just couldn't sleep. I'm like, am I ready? Like, do I have everything I need? Um, and I just couldn't sleep. And because it's like, it's Halloween. Okay, do you see this concealer? It's like, now you see dark circles? Now you don't. It's kind of fabulous. And you can use it, like, on trouble spots. Um, Right now I don't have a lot of trouble spots, but when I do, you can just kind of like blend that in to there. Okay, and then it looks like Princess Leia, she's got really nice skin, but she's also got some like, you know, depth to her skin. So I use um, my beachfront bronzer. Um, even if she didn't have depth to her skin, I'd use it anyway because I just feel pretty when I put this stuff on. Just makes me feel pretty. So I'm just going to kind of put it where the sun naturally is. So just a little bit on my forehead. And then she's got hers kind of like under her cheekbone. So I'll do that. Because what Princess Leia wants, Princess Leia gets. And that's just kind of like a natural way to uh, contour your face is using your bronzer. Um, it kind of makes your cheekbones stick out, makes your face look a little thinner. And I'm telling you what, I don't mind looking a little bit thinner. Okay. And then, we're just going to do, she's just got really natural makeup. She's got a natural look to her. Are you guys going to any Halloween parades at your kids' schools or anything? Or taking your grandkids anywhere? What you guys doing today, huh? Let me know what you're doing. All right, I'm gonna use palette number four today. I use this one a lot. Um, I use the, this is palette number four. I use the, um, this side more than I use this side, uh, cause that's my prerogative. Um, I'm not like daring enough to use the blue quite yet. Um, Stacy Ethan's in a Halloween play. How cute is that? I've never heard of a Halloween play. Well, I mean, it's not like it's outrageous, but that's so cute that they're doing that. What grade is Ethan in again? Okay, so I'm just going to take this light color. It's called Tender. Love me tender, love me true. Isn't that a song? Sometimes I think things are songs and then... I'm like, wait, maybe I just made that up. So I'm just going to go all the way up my little eye litter. Ethan's in second grade. I thought he was older. I keep forgetting. And Eli is in, is he in fourth or fifth grade? Stacy, my friend, has the cutest boys, and well, she has the cutest kids. And I'm hoping that Olivia's gonna marry her oldest kid. I just think that would be so fun, because Stacy's one of my besties, 
And if our kids got married, besties forever. So that's my goal. That's my goal, but I can't tell Olivia that or else she'll do the opposite. So I've got to try to play it cool, you know, just kind of slightly brainwash her. So when she sleeps at night, I just go up and go, I love Eli, and then run away. I don't know if that's going to work, but we're going to, we'll find out. Okay, then I'm going to take my crease brush, and I'm going to use this color called Arrogant. Eli's in fifth. Okay, so he's a year older than Libby. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to use this Arrogant color here, and I'm just going to use it in my crease. So remember, I primed my crease. Um, I am, Stacy. I think we need to double our efforts in our prayer so that those two get married. I guess if that, if those two don't work out, um, I can just keep Carson single for a long time, and he can marry Lily, and he'll just be kind of like an older guy. Because I'm probably gonna ask him to just live with us for a long time anyway. After I go with him on his mission, so that might work. Or I guess Benson can marry Lily, but I think they're both a little too feisty for each other. We'll have to see. Okay, so I'm just doing my crease in this arrogant color. Take it to the temple. Go into the temple and we're gonna arrange a marriage. Okay. So now... I know, Lily loves Carson. Um, one thing about Carson, though, every little girl loves him. I don't know what, it, well, I do know what it is. He's just so sweet. He's just so sweet and so patient um, that little girls just love him. Hi, Tyler. Good morning. Uh, Tyler was doing a live yesterday, and she was talking about how she hates doing pumpkins with her just for Halloween, and she felt like a bad mom, but like I was like 100%, I hear you lady. I, <laughs> this is my least favorite part of Halloween is pumpkins. But it actually wasn't so bad because Jake like did most of it. And we got these, good morning, good morning, good morning. We are doing our makeup now, good morning. Good morning to you and you and you. Um, but Jake did it most. We got these huge pumpkins. Like, I can't show you in the camera. Huge pumpkins. And um, it turned out they didn't have that many, that much guts in them. Like, I thought we were going to be there all morning, all night just getting those suckers out. But they didn't have that much guts. So, it was pretty easy. Aww. You have a nice husband. My husband cleaned up the meds too now I think about it. Because I went to bed. Like, I was exhausted. I went to bed. And... I told Jake, I'm like, I gotta get up early because I gotta clean up the house, you know, because trick-or-treaters are gonna, you know, walk around my kitchen. I don't know why I thought that my kitchen had to be spotless, but I woke up and Jake cleaned up the whole pumpkin mess. He had the pumpkins on the porch with little candles in them. I'm like, he's a keeper, I tell you what. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take some, I'm gonna take a smaller brush. Where is my smaller brush? Where is my super suit? There it is. And I'm going to just put it in this darker color called Brave. Boom, ba -dum, boom. And I'm just going to do a little V. See where I stopped with my, um, what is it called, the arrogant color? I'm just going to kind of connect that and kind of line the bottom of my eye. I'll show you. So I'm just going to do a little boop. And then I'm just going to kind of connect the bottom of my eye like this. See how it's connecting? And then I'm just going to kind of bring it over and blend it in. So I have like a natural little V. Just blend, blend, blend. See that? You liking that? Hmm? You liking what do you see? And I'm just going to do it to the other side. And blend, blend, blend. If you have a blending brush, you can totally use that. But I like to kill two birds with one stone. Okay, y'all. I think I'm going fancier. I don't think um, Princess Leia had a smoky eye, 
but I'm hoping Han Solo is going to make a move on me. So I am giving myself a smoky eye. You know what I mean? I'm going to draw him in close. And since it's Halloween, we have to do big, big eyelashes. So I'm going to do what I like to call double trouble. I've never called it that before, but that's kind of a fun name, right? So I'm going to do both the epic and the fiber lashes because that gives you like ba bam eyelashes. If you want to get what you want with your eyeballs, you're going to need these three things. Okay. So I'm going to start with my base coat of Epic Mascara. And I'm just going to put that baby on. Because I like to use this as a base. And because it curls your lashes for you. And it already lengthened them. Carol, I am so glad that you love your palette. You look good in those really neutral colors. Carol has palette number one. Number one, right? That's the one with all the like peaches and browns. Okay, so my eyelashes are already looking pretty wicked big. Tyler, I know you love big lashes and they look good on you, girl. Carol, you like your epic, right? You still loving it? Good. I am so glad. Because I know you were a little bit worried about it because your eyes are a little bit sensitive, but I'm telling you what. This is magic. Oh, oh, it's magic, you know. Okay. So I've got my first coat on, I guess my base coat, and my eyelashes already look phenomenal. You seeing this? I know you're seeing it, and I know you're liking it. Give me a heart. Give me a heart, people. Show me some love about my beautiful eyelashes. Okay, so that was the first coat, and now I'm going to do a coat of so I'm going to actually let these suckers dry for a little bit and while they're drying I'll go ahead and do my eyebrows so I'm going to take my precision eyebrow pencil and I'm just going to kind of brush my eyebrows which are I like to call the valances to my soul and then this side has got like, see how it's double sided? So it's the brush, and this side has the actual marker. And I'm just gonna kind of, mm, you know what? I need to look at Princess Leia's eyebrows. Okay, Tyler, have a good Halloween. Okay, yeah, Princess Leia's eyebrows are just pretty, 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 pretty. Oh good, Carol, I'm so glad. I'm so, so, so glad it works for you. And I'm just gonna kind of draw them in. I'm just gonna kind of get those spots that are a little sporadically hairy. See that? And this side. Maybe you have perfect eyebrows that are just like perfectly full. But I have kind of sporadic eyebrows. There, I'm trying to fix my light, sorry. Like I have like a couple like bald patches in the weirdest places that I gotta fill in. So that's super fun. 
Okay, and then I'm just gonna seal them in with just a little bit of wax. A little bit of eyebrow wax. There we go. Okay, now I'm ready to go back to my lashes. So I'm gonna get the transplanting gel. Go back and forth. So we're gonna do transplanting gel, boom, boom. Then we're gonna do the fibers, boom, boom. Let it sit for a little bit. Then seal it all in again with the transplanting gel. Boom, boom. That's why the transplanting gel has more because you've gotta do a bottom coat and a top coat. And if you notice, they have these cute little windows so your fibers and mascara can see how pretty your eyes are. And also so you know when you need a reorder. So we're gonna start with that transplanting gel. Maybe that's from Skywalker, Kiss Princess Leia. She probably had epic fiber lashes too. And he couldn't help it even though it was his sister. I bet you that's what happened. I mean, they don't say that in the movie, but you can fill in the blanks. You can kind of figure that out. Okay, I'm gonna really good coat on there so that my fibers will stick. I'm just gonna kinda put these little babies on. Um, I'm kinda looking a little bit amazing. Okay, then back to the transplanting gel. We're gonna go to this side so we can let these fibers just really stick to it. Get a good coat on so they stick. You don't want fibers falling all over your face. You gotta get a good coat on there. Okay, I'm switching back to the fibers. It's my favorite kind of fiber. I don't like eating broccoli. I don't like eating cream of wheat or anything. I'm not a fiber person, I like apples. But the fiber I get excited for is the one that I put on my face. Not eating. Okay, so I'm just gonna let them sip for just a little itty bitty bit. Take a little sippy sip. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm drinking because I'm really embarrassed. But I have a monster headache today because it's Halloween, so I had to feel like a monster. Um, so I'm starting early on something that's probably not amazing for me. I need it. Oh my gosh, I need it. I didn't sleep good last night. You can't tell because I covered up my dark circles. With my amazing concealer. Alright, so now I'm going to seal it all in. Hello, I'm gonna sweep the camera with my eyelashes. Look at those suckers. If I blink really fast, I might fly away. All right, I'm sealing those puppies in. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna dress up in my costume for the class parties. I was just gonna wear like a Halloween shirt and some funky socks. But Livy this morning, while she was eating breakfast, she was like, Mom, are you gonna dress up like Princess Leia for my class party? I was like, eh, I don't know, honey, we'll see. And she's like, Mom, I don't, I want people to know that you're a fun mom. I'm like, well, how do you say no to that? No, honey, I'm sorry. I'm gonna pretend that I'm a witch and pretend I'm the meanest mom ever. <clears throat> so, I'm wearing my Princess Leia costume to school, and the kids are going to just be like, girl, you don't look like, <gasps> oh, Stacy's doing her makeup too, we're besties. Okay, so now I just got to finish off with the red lip. Now her red lip isn't like, let me show you my picture again. Her red lip isn't like, bam, like. Red, red, like 
sexy red. It's kind of just like a soft, you want to kiss me red, but it probably won't happen because I'm a lady. That's kind of how I'm feeling. So I'm going to use, and since it's Halloween and um, it's just going to be a long day, I'm going to use my lip stain because it needs to stay on all day and this is going to do the trick. And I'm going to use my color Sappy because it's not like va va voom red like I said. It's just kind of like a nice, soft, pretty red. So I've moisturized my mouth. I'm probably gonna just do a little more real quick just because my lips have been extra dry. <laughs> but then I'm gonna take it off. Cause your lips gotta be really dry for this. Not like dry, like girls dry, but. Okay, and then like I always do, I um, just make a little X right here so you can get a good Cupid's bow. And this stuff, it's like, it's actually like a stain. Like, if you've ever like stained wood or anything, like it's, it's really liquidy and um, kind of thin, but you put it on like uh, lip gloss, so that's kind of cool. So I'm just gonna make an X. So I can get that shape of the cupid's bow. I'm kind of just gonna go and spread it out. You kind of gotta go grandma slow, cause. This stain really sticks. Okay. So, that's one coat. I'm going to let it dry for a second and then do a second coat. Just because, I mean, that's pretty. But I'm going to need a little more. Her lips were a little bit red, redder than that. But honestly, I don't know who's going to be looking at my lips when my lashes look like this. They're going to be like, um, ma'am, you accidentally glued um, brooms to your eyes. Can you help us sweep the ceiling? I'll be sure. Here you go. Just kidding. Okay, I'm going to let it dry. Stacy, you should post a picture of you and your epic mascara on my page so everyone can see how beautiful you are. Okay, I'm going to do another coat. Thank you, Carol. Okay, and then I'm gonna let it dry. And that is it. So this is my Halloween look for today. It's not as spooky or crazy or funny like my other ones. This is what I'm being for Halloween. So what do you do? What do you do when you choose someone that's kind of neutral? But she does have pretty lips and cute hair. So, well, cute depending on how you look at it. I didn't realize how like weird her hair was until like I decided to be Princess Leia and then I was looking at her hairstyle and I'm like, oh, how do I make this look pretty? But I'll figure it out. Okay, so this was super fun. Thank you guys for being on here with me. I love, love, love doing these because I get to chat with my friends while I'm doing my makeup. And it does. It kind of makes us feel like we're roommates. We're all just hanging out in the morning, getting ready together. So that's super fun. But I hope you guys have a really good Halloween. I'm going to post pictures later of the full look. Um, I'm going to post pictures of my cute kids and um, my Han Solo. And I'm pretty sure he's going to pay attention to me looking like this, right? So happy Halloween. See you guys later.